Hello, and welcome to episode four of my Bool tutorial series. This is Advanced Bool. If you're sitting here, I am assuming that you have Basic Bool down to a T, or you're just curious. Either way, until you have Basic Bool down to a T, episode three, do not do this route. But if you're sitting here, you have Basic Bool down, no problem, down pat, all good, and you're ready for the more advanced stuff, this is gonna be the tutorial for you. I'm going to go over everything that you see the top runners do, YOLO triggers, Pepega route, everything. I'm going to explain it all. It's very difficult. It'll take you quite a bit before you have it down. Be very inconsistent and shaky at it first. Just keep practicing. Eventually, you will get it. So, without further ado, let's jump in. Yeah, I'm going to load the hallway like I did before. Make a core save here. So, to explain this first part, I start holding W... So on the dialogue line, I'm going to go at a particular time to make sure that I can just fly through all the triggers. That's the concept behind YOLO triggers. I like to go about halfway through Cortana saying the word door. So door. And like before she finishes, I'm holding W. So I'll show that. And that kind of went right there. You can see on my input capture. That's when I went. So when she was halfway through the word door, head through that door. That's when I go. And once you have that, that door. That you'll know you hit it. If you can hit these first two triggers, like I hit that one, and then this one, then you're well on your way to doing YOLO. You kind of just take this route. I'm doing particular things that you might notice if you're trying to mimic it. Everyone will do it slightly differently. Find a way that works for you. You're just going to have to keep trying a lot of trial and error. This one, you kind of want to hit diagonal like that. See how I hung to the left of the bridge there. This one I'm going to hang to the right to hit it like that. And that's, uh, that's the whole YOLO portion. That'll take a bit before you get it down. Um, just keep practicing. Find your own particular way of doing it based on the route I showed you there. Go back through, watch the video, etc. Uh, there's nothing I can really explain beyond what I said. So this one you can fly through like before. And this one you can fly straight through. See that boom, you know you're good. All right, so we got the boom. We're ready for uh, BSP load. We're going to do this BSP load the same way. Um, I am going to do that little trick I showed you before. I'm going to make a core save here and fly in here. Do a checkpoint, all that good stuff to make sure I have this canyon loaded in. So you're going to do this the same way. You're going to be in new graphics, right? You switch to old graphics, you're going to get out. Here's where it's going to diverge slightly. I'm gonna make a core save here. So instead of using that beam right there, we're actually gonna load directly through the wall. I'll show you what that looks like. Then I'll explain it. Boom, you can actually do a load right through the wall and that's just S and E, um, kind of like broken door skip, just S and E and you can load it right through the wall. So what I like to do is see this corner right here the top of my triangle, I bring it down and then a little bit to the left. So it's kind of like that. And then I just hold W. So just like that. Brings me at a good angle. And then I'm kind of adjusting the Banshee as I go to load it through the wall. That'll be pretty hard to do. Um, it took me a bit before I had it down as consistently. But just keep practicing. Find your own way of doing it. It's just how I like to do it. It's pretty forgiving. You just don't want to get your Banshee in through the wall. But i uh, show you a few times me doing this. And you'll find uh, your own way of doing this as well. So, like that. Uh, I want to show you it all in sequence. So let me eject a core save here. Load the checkpoint trick I did before. There we go. So I'll show you how to do it in full sequence. So you can have it as a reference. See kind of where I'm looking there, down, and then just a hair to the left. Then boom, kind of adjust as you go. And then, see the door there? That's because we did the first load null graphics. So that's uh, the first deviation beyond YOLO. I'm gonna fly straight down. This one, as you get better, you can kind of do something like that. Just fly up. 
All right, here's where the route is going to diverge even more so. Uh, this is the infamous Papega route. So after you hit this trigger here, instead of going to the left, you're going to fly straight up. You're going to do this BSP load earlier. Um, this route is very difficult. So we're going to do this BSP early. You'll know you hit every trigger up to this point. You see that band, that, excuse me, that Wraith over there and all the Covenant? You've hit every trigger up to this point successfully. So this is the underneath trigger. So you can actually hit this tunnel trigger underneath like this. Fly directly underneath it. If you see those red, see like those jackals over there on your radar, all the red, that means you hit that trigger. If you don't see the red, like let's say you're like too far to the right, you think it's here, but it's not actually there and you, you miss it. Whoops. I'll show you what it looks like if you miss it. So like you just didn't do it correctly for whatever reason. You see there's no spawns over there so that's your marker that you know you hit it you have to go back and hit it if you don't see those but this will take some doing you kind of want to touch your the top of your banshee onto the lower end of that floor right there and then that'll load in all of that show it one more time i like to use that light as a reference and just tap the top just like that uh, then you're going to fly this way right above here and then Use this as the reference, fly the Banshee directly like that, and then fly it up like this. So I'll show that in full context. Course save here. So I'll go here, fly up here. Once I cross that point, I fly up here. And coming up is the hardest part of Papega route. So, um, we can't hit that trigger yet. We have to go actually back inbounds for a second. So, we're going to use a little funny in the game to do this. Line up your Banshee like this. So, what I like to use is, um, you see this light fixture to the right? I like to line up the Banshee like, just like, see like how I line up just barely to the right of it with the back of my Banshee, kind of like right about here. That's what you're aiming for. See like that little light fixture just to the left. That one like right there, like just jutting out. Um, that's what you're looking to do. You line up like this. Look forward, get out. We're now in bounds, but the Banshee will not fall. Uh, the game actually thinks it's part of this load zone right here. So it, um, it doesn't know what to do. It just stores it there for you until you hit the load. Then you'll see it fall through. So that's how Papega route works. I'll show you the full thing in sequence. Stop about here. Get out. If you wait here for a second, you'll usually get a checkpoint. I already popped it earlier, but if you just wait here a second, you can get a checkpoint. Then hit the load. Then jump and pick it up through the wall. Hit this load. To load back in the canyon. And then you can go in here and hit that. So this one can be a little tricky to get. I like it to look a little bit to the left, slow down until the camera kind of changes, and then just fall the Banshee straight down. Once you see those black bars, you're good. Let me show that again. Look a little to the left, towards the door, fall straight down when the camera turns, just like that. Then hold W and start falling here. And that'll take you a while to get down consistently. Just keep practicing. And hit the trigger through here like before. And that's the advanced route. Um, again, it's going to be a lot harder than I made it look. I've been doing this route for years. So just keep practicing. Get it down. Ask questions in the Discord. Keep trying. Um, and at this point, I assume you're doing this. But keep trying. You will get it down eventually. Um, and that's the advanced bull route. There's really nothing else beyond this point. Um, I just want to cover this one more time because this is the most, whoops, this is the most difficult part. I think it was this core save. There we go. It's the most difficult part. So I'm going to show this just one more time. I use this light fixture as, as my reference. I'm, you want your Banshee just right here. Look at, look, just use whatever visual markers you need from this picture right here to line this up and you will have it down. But 
Show this one more time in full speed. This is the dragon of bull right here. The pe this like weirdness here. That's the dragon. If you can get this down, you basically have this route good to go. So this is all going to be a lot of practice. Um, don't attempt this route Generator. until you have basic down, all that stuff. And be prepared because this will take you a while to learn. It's just how it is. It's difficult. It's one of the hardest tricks in the game. So hope this was useful. Um, I know I skimmed through a lot of stuff. A lot of this is going to come down to you practicing. I can't give you the magic keys to do this successfully. You need to sit down and practice it. So best of luck. Again, ask if you have questions, and um, happy booling.